All right, Coach, we had some injury news today. Uh, you know, Lewis Murphy uh, is probably not going to be able to give it a go. It was a great story. We were trying to get him back in here. But Anton Smith, this was, uh, to me, that might be the biggest loss because it's a part of the team that's just trying to keep it going. Uh, what are we doing here at the running back position? You three guys who have been in the camp, uh, but looking forward, this is still a position that has to come up for you. Yeah, well, all, all these injuries are, are heartbreaking on their own level. I mean, you know, Lewis Murphy worked for over a year to try to come back from an ACL injury, and that's tough enough to come back from. And then, you know, we just ran out of time on the 21 days, and he, he, had, a, he had a second injury. So, you know, that's, that's rough on that one. And then at the tailback spot, at some point, at some point here, we're going to get Doug Martin back. At some point, we're going to get Charles Sims back. At some point, we're going to get Jacquez Rogers back. In the meantime, we're asking these guys to hold the fort down. And uh, Anton Smith comes in, just barely gets in the fold, gets out there, starts making a few plays. And just a freak thing at the end of the game, he catches a check down pass. A guy tries to tackle him from behind, falls on the back of his leg and, you know, suffers a, a pretty severe ankle injury that would take more time to heal than we have time left in the season. So, you know, he's got to go on IR and, and we got to go to the next man up. It's just, uh, it's just unfortunate. All, all teams in the NFL are uh, having injury issues at different positions, but we've, we've been hit hard at that position. But, but Peyton, Russell, Mike James, I mean, these are guys who went through the off season. Yep. Is that uh, confidence for the entire team knowing, I mean, these guys aren't just coming off the street here and trying to learn on the go. Yeah. They are ready to step in. And there's, there's times you have to go that way where you have to bring guys off the street. And uh, that's, always the, that's always the trick. I mean, one of the coaches is meeting with them around the clock to catch them up on just how you call your terminology. So it, it is nice that you have guys that, that know, know what they're doing and know they're not having to say, well, what does that mean again? Uh, now, you still have to go out there and play against a, a good Chicago defense. Defensively, you've had some time, obviously, to look at the two games, really, yeah. uh, from the past week. Is there one particular thing that you can say, look, change this, uh, it, it can change dramatically, or is there something uh, fundamentally that's, that's gone wrong the past couple of games? Yeah. Well, that's one of the things we did over this, these couple of days off, is we, we tried to look at everything and say, you know, how can, how can we improve for the second half across the board? You know, you're asking me the, the probably the, the one thing that we, the, the main thing, there's multiple things in all phases, including coaching, but uh, the, probably the main thing on defense is just our communication. We've, you know, we've got to get the calls uh, from the coach to the, to the headset, from the headset to the players, pass throughout the defense so the guys, they can, they have the call, they can look at the formation, uh, see what the tendencies are, make their adjustments, because even though they know the defense, there's, it's just like offense, there's checks within, within each thing. Are they in a bunch formation? Do they have both their wideouts on the same side? Is it two back? Is it one back? Are we going to put a game on it? Uh, it? It starts with that. It starts with, uh, you know, knowing what to do and how to do it. Now, from there, like, we, we have a list of things, and, and like you said, over the, over the two games, we, we went over all that stuff with the players today on Monday, and uh, they'll have one more day off, and then we'll, we'll see what we can apply starting Wednesday. Sometimes it's hard in layman's terms. If a fan sits up and says, how is that guy that open? Do guys, whether it's linebackers or defensive backs, are there times in, on a play when they are given a choice, they can do their best uh, estimation of what they need to do, or are they getting off an assignment, you think, that causes guys to get open? Definitely the latter. Uh, when you see a guy as open as we had a couple guys, it was – two guys jumping the same receiver, and that goes back to communication. Uh, you know, you play different formations, two by two bunches, two by two with two guys close together, three, three receivers together. Those all have different rules for how you're gonna match the routes. And, you know, we had a couple times the other night where we had two guys jumping one receiver and, and the other guy unfortunately free. And I mean, that's, should be basic enough stuff, but if, if, we're, if we're having trouble with it, that's telling us that we, but we gotta, we got to go back to the drawing board and get that right. And finally, given the adver recent adversity, uh, big picture is still in play. I know you're worried about one game, but it's, it, you're at the halfway point. A lot of football to go here. You can still get on a roll. The guys that are in that room, uh, what's the mood like ready to go here for next week? Well, I think, you know, obviously when you lose two games like we did in five days, uh, the guys getting a little break and getting out of here was probably a good thing to clear their mind. But, you know, we were back to work today. The guys 
The guys seemed to be in a good spot. We had a lot of corrections to go over, a lot of things to start working on. But just as you said, we're, we are at the halfway point, and uh, you know it's up to us. What are we going to make of this next two months? Are we going to are we going to die on the vine, so to speak, and and just play out the season, or are we going to are we going to improve as a football team and play good football? Because I believe in my heart that when we do that. Uh, the rest of it will take care of itself. Uh, now, saying it and doing it are two different things, and you know, there's really not much to talk about right now. We we got to do it. We got to prove it on the field.